Good evening, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. Let's read our daily bread. We're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 19, verse, verses 14. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Our hearts are glad when we see new a new child for the first time whether our own or those of our loved ones, we smile toward a distant destination in our minds. We bend to them, reaching a finger toward their miraculously tiny hands, their downing care, all these horror marks of God's creation. Thank you, Lord, for our beautiful children, challenging and vibrant in our image. I just met my nephew for the first time last night and I absolutely loved picking up his little tiny miraculous hands. <laughs> Babies are so beautiful, perfect. They bring you peace. They just bring you another level of God, just seeking God and his presence in that peace. Because like I always say, I feel like children are fresh and they are directly coming from heaven. So they are very sensitive and they are very powerful and they do bring a lot of peace. And you learn a lot from children. So in the reading in Matthew chapter 19, verses 14, but Jesus said, suffer little children and forbid them not to come to me. So we know that in life, the Lord said that we were suffer um, trials and tribulations for a while. But when we're going through things, we still can't not tell people about God. So just because you might be struggling with something right now, you still have to tell people about the presence of God at any given time for of such is the kingdom of heaven. So that is what is going on in heaven. Everyone is referring the Lord to everyone, no matter what is going on. So the post, the person in their testimony said that um, they were happy that, you know, their hearts are glad when they see a new child for the first time, whether it's their child or someone else's child. They love just having that mindset of, you know how like you would see a child and you'll plan the future for them. Like, oh, my God, you're going to be a handsome young man. She's going to be so powerful and positive when she grow up. I can just see them doing beautiful things in their life and at that time everybody is always blessing the child so that is absolutely amazing thank you lord for our beautiful children challenging and vibrant in our image this was a really beautiful our daily bread piece um just continuing to tell people about the kingdom of god and Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man, when you get time, I encourage you to read Matthew chapter 19, verses 14. And if you're like me and you have like a new baby that you're welcome into the family, whether it's your child or someone else's child, accept that peace when you're in their presence. Um, be more gentle and because you know sometimes like you can have a baby in a presence and it can be you know wild and different things like that do what you can to make sure that the child is at peace and just say beautiful things to them they're listening they're powerful we love them and god loves them also so alexis love beauties and flawless man i pray that you have a fantastic night and whatever it is that you may be going through take that to god because that's what he loves and he will be able to help you and correct you god bless you alexis loves you